Boa noite, Pat Adams. Boa noite. Eu, queria, eu, já, eu já queria já uh, esclarecer, já de vez, já, uh, depois que a gente viu esse VT aí explicando, etc e tal, que você ficou conhecido no mundo inteiro através uh, do filme, seu trabalho, né? Uh, o que, que você a, a, a achou do filme? O filme uh, foi fiel à sua história ou os roteiristas de Hollywood deram uma mexidinha, fizeram alguma coisa a mais? I was first embarrassed by the film. I'm a political activist. I work for peace and justice. I think my government are fascists. I feel that if we don't change from a society that worships money and power over to one that worships compassion and generosity, there's no hope for human survival this century. That we need to stop a system that encourages on television for money to be concentrated in the hands of a very few people. And so Hollywood wanted to sell tickets. Two things sell tickets, violence and humor. And so they choose to emphasize my effort and being and starting the only silly hospital in history. And they left out the fact, and this is a country that refuses care to 50 million people because they're poor. It left out the fact that what I'm about is free medicine. Mm -hmm. I also, if I may, yes. I'm here in the hot seat. Uh, correct some of the things that you were reading. Okay, of course. I would never agree laughter is the best medicine. I've never said it. Friendship is clearly the best medicine. Friendship is the most important thing in life, our relationships with those we love. And so, unfortunately, the media being the way it is, long before they meet me, they have the idea laughter is in the best medicine, and so when they write the article, they just put this phrase in there because they're actually not thinking. And I also want to correct the idea that I never think of laughter as a therapy. In the same way I never think of music as a therapy, or art as a therapy, or dance as a therapy. These never need a word like therapy, which is a small word, to help. Art needs no help with the word therapy. We, this is human culture. We don't do culture therapy. If we're healthy, we do culture. And for me, humor is a context. At our hospital, we require our staff to be happy, funny, loving, cooperative, creative, and thoughtful. That this is a way for healthy human community to integrate each other so that the community doesn't have violence, so that the community is nurturing to each other. So I never ever think I actually also don't think of the difference between bringing humor to a dying child and being friendly to a businessman on an elevator. For me, they are equal experiences. And so the movie gives the impression I'm about going into a sick child's room and being funny. And that's cute and good film, but it's not, it doesn't make... Brazil want to feed all of its hungry people and stop cutting down its Amazon River. Mm -hmm. And I want to protect the Amazon and I'd like to stop violence to women everywhere in the world. And so the film could have integrated that. I've grown more comfortable with the film because <clears throat> the, hung the world is so hungry for even the most simplest Reader's Digest version of anything to do with love because love is not on TV. Love is nowhere. It's not taught in any school. And, and so any version, even if it's the most Hollywood simple version, the world is hungry for it. And I've seen it because it was an international very popular film. They're hungry. It could have been a lot more intelligent a film. The same year that film was released, Benini released a film, Life is Beautiful, in Italy, which is a lot more intelligent version with a similar kind of message. And I know this is probably not exactly what you wanted, but since we're in a hot seat, it's a, it allows the conversation to go in directions people may not have thought it was supposed to go. Mm -hmm. The film, before the film, 
when I tried to take clowns into the war in Bosnia, it took seven months for the UN to give me permission because they said, how can you want to take clowns into war? This is not funny. But after the movie, for the war in Kosovo, it only took four days. And because of the film, clown groups all over the world are going in hospitals. It's, and it's helped them tremendously. Over 3,000 projects from around the world said, I saw the film 30 times. I love it. It's my favorite film. I started this clinic, or this school, or this thing. And mechanics write me. I saw your film and now I do honest mechanic work. So I've grown to have a more respect for the consequences of the film, not the intelligence of the film. I, I am an intellectual. There are great films in history. This is not one of them. It is a Hollywood commercial film. As far as its truth, the real person murdered was my closest man friend. It's humiliating to his family but I know him, he would have been happy that a pretty woman played him in the movie. <laughs> he probably would have asked her out on a date. <laughs> and if you remember the scene of the gynecologist convention and the big legs over the door, I would never have done that. I did perfect female anatomy. <laughs> you know, the, the real movie of the noodle pasta bath, if you saw my version, is much funnier and much more interesting. Yeah. So everything in the movie is an understatement. A lot of people imagine because of Hollywood it is an exaggeration, but in fact it actually is an understatement. And I, I am sorry that my name is to a movie that does not mention peace and justice. You'll notice in this interview I made it the first thing we talk about. Mr. Adams, you mentioned a film from Hollywood, a film that doesn't a paz e a justiça, mas tem um, tem um lado positivo de ter incentivado pessoas no mundo inteiro a seguir seu exemplo, a palhaços entrarem em hospitais. Mas no seu caso específico, esse filme ajudou a, a sua entidade a receber é, mais doações, a se construir novos hospitais que estão sob sua responsabilidade? I did the movie because I failed to raise money for 28 years to build the only model hospital in the world addressing the problems that I hear from medical people all over the world. And because it's such a radical hospital, no one had helped me. Universal Studios promised to build our hospital. The film made over $400 million. No one connected to the film gave me one dollar. It has helped me in that I make more money as a performer. Before the film, I made $300,000 a year. After the film, a million dollars a year. I don't keep any money. I choose not to own anything. So I give all of that money so we can do more. It also has made it possible for us, us to start building clinics and schools around the world and to expand our activity. It has not brought money to us to build our hospital.